Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So now it's time to move on to try and find the next spiritual stone. And we're going to do that by heading this way up the river. Because that's what we need to follow to where we need to go. It all makes sense now. It's all coming together. need to cross the river to actually get to the other bit of land over here. Come on, thank you. Let's head this way. I don't know if anything actually said that we need to go this way, but this is this is the way we need to go, so. Zora River, Zora's River, watch out for swift current and strong undertow. Well, let's also equip a Deku shield because we don't need the need to worry about burning it now, so. Okay. Ow, also grass. Which we can get all of our refills back, which is nice. Also some rupees. Could be good. That's a small bottle of magic. Okay, hello Ow. Hoo-hoo! Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting his this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo-hoo-hoot! Thanks for the, uh, info. But anyway, let's also roll into this tree here because it has a sculptor for us, so I'm going to blow that up. I'm also going to blow up these rocks over here. Gold sculptor token. How did that not blow up? Oh my goodness. How did that not blow up all these boulders? You also have to use two bombs to get all the boulders, which is unfortunate. But anyway. There's also this dude over here, and also some more soil, soft soil, that I could use for another Sculptula. Jump, jump, jump. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Sure, I'll do it. Ah, it's gone. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil, chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees for one piece? Got magic beans. Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with C. Then wait for something fun to happen. Okay. Let's keep buying some more, which I think I can only afford one more. They're getting to be quite popular. 30 rupees for one piece. How about it? Yes, please. So there we go. We have three of those now. Which is going to be interesting once I actually have more rupees and all that. And also bugs. Because I need to do the soft soil here. But we can actually plant a plant in these soft soil spots. So we need to do that in a few places. But anyway, now... Let's also take this cuckoo here, because it's going to be quite helpful to us as we go forward up the river. So let's go. We also have this thing here, which is annoying for one thing, but also, if I can actually read its information. This is an Octorok. Bounce back the rocks they spit at, spit at you. These rocks also ha have always made me think of popcorn, so try to get that out of your brain. Just, you, it's it's over now. The rocks that they spit out look like popcorn. You'll never unsee it. Now, I want to go over this way, and I want to jump across here. And then, once we get close enough, I want to let go of the cuckoo. Now, I think I can actually jump over to this piece of heart here. That's not how you're supposed to get this piece of heart, but that's how I've always done it. 
pretty much. It's quite useful to get this this early, so. Now I want to head down to this cuckoo. Also, if you throw the cuckoo into the water, it will go back to the beginning where we found it. Blue Tektite. It's hard to beat on the water. Lure it onto the land. I could do that. But also, I don't really want to fight these. But I guess they're trying to annoy me. I'm trying to pick up this chicken again. Come on. Get rid of you. Please. They have a lot of health, apparently. Here we go. Now I want to take this cuckoo with me, so let's do that. Ah, uh, there's also a thing here. If I go over here, though. Which I guess I can take a look at, but there's not really much I can do here. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. So if we get out our ocarina... On this little spot here. These frogs come out, and we can play any song that we've learned so far for them. And once we've done each song, one of them will get bigger. So, young lad, you played the ocarina well. Hmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We all should practice it, Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit Ribbit. So we'll have to do that. And that also helps us get more beans, so, because they give us rupees. Uh, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. I want to do other things first with this cuckoo, so let's do that. We need to keep taking it up river, so, and that will take a fair bit of time. Also, maybe, actually I kind of feel like doing this right now, so I'm going to do this. Although I don't know if this is actually anything important, which is unfortunate. Anyway, let's get rid of that cuckoo. If you, whenever, whenever you swim down the stream as well, depending on which way you go, you also get rupees, so. Some ways more than others, which is also helpful for getting the beans. But anyway, up here there's also another cuckoo, so if you wanted to use this one up here to fly down to the piece of heart, you can do that. But again, I just I'd just do the the way I did it. Since it's faster and pro possibly more efficient, maybe. Anyway, let's get this probably rupee here. Also, I can get I can get bugs! I can get bugs! I can get bugs. The time has come for me to get bugs. I'm so happy that I get bugs. Oh my goodness, there we go. Anyway, back to focusing on getting this 20 rupee. That's pretty good. And let's get going. This is working out quite well. I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, we need to go to the bean man. Although I kind of also want to jump into the river to get some rupees from that as well. Maybe... Also, what's in this grotto? I think this isn't an, an important grotto, but I think this is also a fairy fountain. So I might get a fairy into a bottle, just in case I get low on health or die. So let's grab one of you. That's the wrong button. Grab one of you. There we go. Now we can continue with everything else. I'm kind of tempted to take this cuckoo with me though, upriver some more. But I guess I'll just go this way for now. I, mm, I don't know what I'm doing, it's fine. I mean, I do know what I'm doing, I'm just trying to do it wrong, probably. In, in And also in the weirdest way possible. Anyway, let's drop that there. I might also grab another bug if I can quickly. Grab that. we go. Now, did it, one of them go in the thing? Did one of them go in the hole? The soft soil? No? No. Apparently not. Cool. Let's try that again. I think one of them actually went off the edge, which is unfortunate for them. Do I exist? Does this cuckoo make... Is this cuckoo... They're really not wanting to do this right now, are they? This is unfortunate. Please, go in the hole. Unless this hole doesn't have- this soft soil doesn't have anything. 
Which is also possible. I think I remember this one actually not having any thing in it. That actually annoys me immensely. Anyway. How about some magic beans? They're all the rage. 40 rupees for one piece. Yes? Okay. Also, I need one more rupee for the next bean. <gasps> That's unfortunate. Come on. There we go. There it is. I needed that. We have the popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. 50 rupees for one piece. Just for now. Okay. Very nice. Now, we have zero rupees again, so that's unfortunate. But I might also talk to the frogs again, maybe? Maybe. That's a big maybe. I'll do it. Why not? I'm still sad that there wasn't a gold sculpture for the... The soft soil there. Which is a little bit strange, because that's how it's supposed to be. Is each one of them having... A gold sculpture for us. So it's weird that one wouldn't. Okay, you go up there. Also, the music is just freaking out because of all the enemies that are nearby and not actually attacking us. Okay. Let's do another song. <laughs> Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Hmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We should practice it, Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another s nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit, Ribbit. Another 50 rupee. I think they're saying the same thing as well, so I don't need to worry, worry about that too much. Okay, very nice. Another rupee. Let's do another song, because I think we only have one song left. There's only one frog that hasn't fully grown yet, though. Which is a shame. At least I think so. Anyway, we have 150 rupees now, so I might go back to the bean salesman. Uh, but I've also taken this cuckoo up here, so I'm gonna take it to where I wanted to take it first. Okay, up there, please. Grab. Okay. Go up the river a little bit more. Now, there's also a skull, gold skull down there that we can get. But also, I believe, if I'm not wrong, we can actually get this heart piece if we have this cooker here. This is again not how you're supposed to get this piece of heart. But anyway, there we go. That's another piece of heart that we're not supposed to get yet. Now let's get through this gold sculptor. On this ladder. Let's grab that. Now I can go up this ladder to actually get to where we're meant to be going. But I also want to go downstream again for the... The bean salesman to get some more... Beans. Which I can't get that many more since he's, each one is going for... Currently 50 rupees. So I'm going to need a little bit more by getting... Going swimming. Down the river. Actually, I think I've already swum down the river, haven't I? So it's not going to have... No, I flew down the river already with the chicken, so... But as you can see, you can get quite a few rupees by swimming down the river. Even down this way. 
Hoo hoo, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. I don't think you're supposed to be talking to me again. By protection of the water source, the door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Stop goofing off, you little kid. Get, get, do the thing, please. <laughs> I, yeah, it's fine. This is weird. <laughs> anyway. Just drop down here. Get a few more rupees. Okay, now back on track, maybe. Maybe one day we'll be back on track completely. Okay, bean guy. How much are they? These are the super popular magic beans, in case you're wondering. They'll soon be sold out. Super price, 60 rupees for one piece. Okay. We have the super rare magic beans. This could be your last chance. Special price, 70 rupees for one piece. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees for one piece. I don't have enough rupees. Oh well, also you're eating them out of the bag, so you're not gonna, they're, they're, it's fine. Can I reach across this? No, I have to, I have to take the chicken. I have to take the cuckoos. Oh, hey, a rupee. Also, one day we'll have all the rupees back again. We just keep spending them all. As soon as we get them, so. Now would be a great time to have that gold rupee that I wasted. There is also another bombable wall on Death Mountain that has a purple rupee, I believe, in it. So we could also do that, but uh, we sh we've, we've wasted enough time. You also don't need to worry about the Octoroks too much, you just need to uh, dodge their popcorn. Okay, now, let's go across here, there's a little thing like this here that we can't really do anything with, but I just want to point out that there's a hole down there. Now, sleepless waterfall, the floor of this waterfall serves the king of Hyrule, when the king slumbers, so too do these, these falls. Ah, control sick. So let's lullaby, because that would, it's passed down the right of the royal family. And let's go in. Sora's Domain. Sora's Domain. <laughs> wow, good sign. Uh, also, we can talk to the Zora here, which are the fish people. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family? Well, what do you want from us? Wow, so rude. Also, this one came out of the water. Can I actually talk to you? I don't know if I can. I think you just... No, I can. All of the water in Hyrule flows from Zora's fountain. That water flows through Zora's river, which eventually reaches Lake Hylia to the south. All of the info. But anyway, up we go. Let's take a look around. This place is really Nice. This place is really nice. Also, I believe one of these pots always has a stick in it. So, it's worth picking up. Always a nut as well. And the rest should be just rupees. But anyway. Zora Shop. We have fresh fish. Well, that's good to know that they have fresh fish. We've also got Deku Nuts. Fish for 200 rupees for a fresh fish. <gasps> That's such a waste. Also a red potion. 
Uh, but that's about it, other than the recovery heart, so... If you want to buy fish, you need a container to put them in. I don't think that's worth it at all. I want to buy fish, but they are a little too expensive. I have no choice but to catch one of the fishes that's swimming around out there. So, you just told us that we can catch our own fish. Good. That's very helpful. Very, very helpful. Since we can put that on the list of things you can just get for free. Instead of buying it for 200 rupees. But anyway. Let's head on up here. King Zora's throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamation. Stand on the platform and speak to him. Oh my dear sweet princess Ruto. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Well, I guess he's not gonna talk to us that much then. Well, I guess I should just blow this up then, except there's, if the water's too deep, then the bomb just disappears. High dive practice spot. Are you confident in your diving skill? I might be. Uh, I guess I should do that. So let's see what we can do. Now, we do actually need rupees for this, so I might be in trouble, maybe? Although I think I might be alright. No, it's 20 rupees. Diving game, 20 rupees. Want to play? Yes, I do. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You should... You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. Okay. All blue rupees. That's five, I believe. Which is actually more than 20 rupees, so... We can make a little profit if we actually get them. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Plenty of time. Four. Where's the last one? There it is. And... Five. Hey, congratulations. I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. We haven't found Princess Ruto, even though some of us have searched as far as Lake Hylia. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, there's a lot of... Like... Uh, Zora here. They just under the water. Have you seen Lord Jabu Jabu? Uh, no. Oh, that's not good. Everybody who comes around here should see Lord Jabu Jabu. At least once. Zora's fountain is just beyond King Zora's throne. That is where Lord Jabu Jabu swims, but unless you have King Zora's permission, you can't go to Zora's fountain. Well, okay then. Also, we, if we do the diving mini game again, we actually he will actually throw in much higher worth rupees, so it could be a good way to grind if you particularly feel like it, but. We shouldn't need to, so. We'll just get rupees the old-fashioned way, which is just doing our own thing. What a graceful dive. Now, please, take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. You got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. So yes, we can dive deeper now. Uh, but before we use that, we want to do a few other things. Like pointing out that you can see the Zora scale down here on the equipment screen. But also, there's fire up here and there's some torches down below that we need to light. So let's go and do that then. Also, if we light this one that looks like the ones that are up there, it will make it a lot easier for us to have the torch for longer. Okay, let's do that, and let's go. I think we need to do this quickly, because I believe they actually go out after a little while if we don't do it. Do them all in one go, so that's that. There's that one. Need to go across here. Get that one. 
I hope I'm getting all of these. It's been a while, so I don't remember how many there are. But then there is this one and that one. And I love that there's this behind the waterfall. But anyway, this is a big chest, so I'm glad I did this. Because if we open this up, we get... A piece of heart. Very nice. Now, let's dive into this hole down here. Which will allow us to go six deep, I don't know what that is, and go into this little tunnel. Which takes us to Lake Hylia, which is south of Hyrule Field. So we've, we've traveled a long way to get here. I am Azora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. Okay, good to know. Well, there's a something down there that we could get. What's that? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Well, let's dive down and get that. Just like that. We get an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C, C to use it. What? Something's already inside, so it's not an empty bottle. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at a few. Nah, I kind of want to wait till later. Kind of? Kind of. No, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do whatever I want right now. It's more efficient to do it now. And I think I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to this one. Because these scarecrows are actually alive for some reason. My name is Pierre, and the Wandering Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. I have an ocarina. So let's just play us. Uh, let's just play a scale. And then play a bit of another one. Hang on. Stop. Fantastic tune. I, it touches my heart. Well, that's not exactly efficient. Ah, hang on. If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. Uh, well, hang on. I'm pressing the wrong button again because I'm used to B being A and A being... Uh, a being B and B being Y. Hang on. And then stop. Fantastic tune. It touches my heart. If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. So we actually want to just give him whatever he want as a song, and we need to remember that. Also, hello, bugs. I don't think I need you. No, I don't. But anyway. Uh, I think that's... Uh, I could do this other thing now, so I might do that. Also, there is also... <laughs> There's just so many things to do. There's just so many things to look at, and it's so much more effective to do it now. So let's head over this way. Up, please. And take a look at this place. Fishing pond. The fish are really biting today. Well, let's take a look and see what we can do here. The biggest fish ever caught in this pond weighed six pounds. The angler, the pond owner. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Yes, I do. Wow, you have a rumble pack today. You can feel the vibration, young man. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press Z to look at the a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can uh, wiggle it with the control stick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in with uh, your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. If you feel hit, press A and uh, control stick down. To set the hook after that, reel it in with A. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only uh, keep only one fish. 
The biggest fish ever caught here weighed six pounds. After you cast, you can change your view with the Z button. Let's fish. So yes, all that information. Rules and regulations. Do not, uh, don't use sinking lures. Don't litter. Walk quietly. Okay, if you say so. Well, I want to aim into the middle over there and then use B to cast. I hope that's... I don't think that's close enough. I'm gonna actually have to reel that in. We can use... hold down A to lure it in, but we can also... Every time we press B or use the left stick, control stick, uh, it will also pull it in a little bit as it moves around. Uh, now, I want to aim properly. Um, about there, I believe. Let's throw that. Now, let's see if we can catch a fish. Oh my goodness, I caught a fish! I also want to aim with the left stick, I think, in the opposite direction of it, of which way it's trying to take the thing with it. Also, if it jumps out of the water, you need to let go for a second, I believe, so that the line doesn't break. Come on. Come on. Come on, fish. There we go. Just like that. Well, well, it's about four pounds. Do you want to keep it? No, I don't. Because I want to break the record, but also that's not the fish that I was aiming for, apparently. Let's aim there, maybe? Need to beat six pounds, so... Also, if the fish gets scared, they also all, all go into a spot and wait for a while before actually going back to where they're supposed to be. Which is a little bit annoying, because it means it's going to take a lot longer. If you wriggle around a bit, it makes it easier for the fish to chase after you. Okay, there we go. Let's pull it in, 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 pull it in. Oh, it's struggling. It's being very rude. It's being very rude. It's a big fish, so... Come on, fish. Come on. Come on, you're right there. There we go. Wow, this is a real lunker. Let's see. It weighs 10 pounds! Do you want to keep it? Sure. Oh my goodness, I absolutely destroyed the thing. The record. Okay then. I was trying... I... Hmm. Wow. Just that good, apparently. What do you want? Weigh my fish. Whoa! This is this fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 10 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. And for that we get a piece of heart. Now, before we leave, there's actually something I want to show that you can get here, which is really interesting. Hey, it's Future Me here. I just wanted to correct myself a little bit because I didn't actually do what it wanted what I was supposed to do last time, so. This time, let's uh See if I can actually do this correctly, because I'm, I still don't really know how to do this. But if we just walk over here... This is what I think it is. Astonishing! You snagged a sinking lure. What do you want to do with it? We could use it, which means we can get fish easier, but we also can't use it for catching the fish that we need to get the reward. So this is basically pointless. Basically. But that's how you get it, You can actually, and you can actually see it's on the end of the fishing line now, so if we throw it... It just works like that, which is pretty cool, so. But yeah, we don't need that, so. Back to past me. I can't remember exactly where this is. Or if I can actually do this. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is there's a, a, a special bait lure thing you can get in here somewhere. But you can't really use it 
for the fish that you need to catch, so. But anyway, I want to quit fishing now. Yes, I do. Come back when you get older. The fish will be bigger too. Well, well, maybe. So there we go. Now, I'm just going to do one more quick thing, and then we can head back to Zora's Domain. So, let's get out our, uh, what's it called? Uh, bug and our bean. And if we head over here... To this building over here that we're gonna ignore for the moment. There should be... A spot for a bug to go in. Just here. So let's do that. Some soft soil. Okay, catch another one, please. That's not what I was trying to do. Catch, catch bug. <laughs> Thank you. Now, did they go in the hole? I hope so. Yes, they did. There's a gold sculptor. So let's get that, and let's plant this bean here. Grab that. And there we go. Now let's head back to Zora's Domain. Also, I accidentally blew up the sign. I guess that's a good thing. There's also an owl over there on that uh, grave thing over there. If you talk to him, he'll take you back to uh, Castle Town. But we don't want to do that, so it's just useful if you really need that. Okay. Let's go see the King Zora and show him this letter in a bottle because it's not an empty bottle. Does it actually say what it's about? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, you can actually read this? I didn't know you could actually read this, huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. I did- how have I never- I think I have seen that, but I haven't seen that. What? That's actually ca crazy to me, but anyway. Let's tell her father. Because that's pretty important. Also, no, hang on. I- I was too far forward. Please. Show it to him. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since there is that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear, of course. You'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it, res uh, respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora. There we go, he's moved out of the way and we should get behind him now. Please find my dear Princess Ruto. Immediately. But anyway, I think that is actually it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.